We're back at Chris Lipskin's house and his wife, uh, Kim. Uh, we actually did a video on his cars and his motorcycles. And uh, I'm interested in one of the motorcycles. That's why we have not shown any of the video yet. Because we figured if we show it, we might not get a chance um, to, you know, that's the bike I'm interested. There's a 29 Rudge out there. Yep. And uh, you guys owned it how many years? Like well, that. how many we, years you we brought it with us, so it must be thirty some. I forget what you traded it for. So you both raced the bike. That's, uh, it was a, uh, what That's how it? I got to race it because because he he didn't back away from the supper table. Uh, no, his uh, <laughs> well, yeah, he was at the land, uh, Florida, and uh, his he got his foot stuck or something on the, um, and uh, he got he was really mad at himself. Because he, he no, cause he couldn't shift it because his feet were too big. Oh, okay. And then he said, um, he came back. He was mad. And he said, "Okay, smartass, you ride it." So I jumped on it. I didn't, you know, I didn't hesitate. That's how I get to do things. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but it's true. So, what kind of racing would you do with the bike like that? Oh, uh, that was road no, race. I understand vintage, but I mean like straight or track. No, that, or... that was road race. Okay, oh, you right, road right, race that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Shuby's the best track. Okay. Shubinockety. Okay. Yeah, you raced it there. Has it been that like... kind of bike? Okay. I mean, you know, they they those bikes, uh, all of them that I have uh, that I have ever really had any interest in racing at all. Uh, well, all of them that I have are for the racing era of the 40s. Okay. Uh, well, t tell them when we got the Rudge, we had to convert it from alcohol, or you converted it from methanol. alcohol. Methanol. Yeah. So yeah, was yeah. that much of a race bike to use methanol? Uh, it, it, it's a methanol. It's a race bike. Okay. Yeah. Now, you can run it on the street. Uh, but it's, it's really a racing machine. I'm, I'm not interested in racing it. Uh -huh. I'm just interested in preserving it. Oh, yeah? Good. Yeah. Well, good, good, good. basically, like, I wouldn't ride. I probably, I maybe, I'm not sure, but, you know. Oh, you have a ball with it. Probably, fast. maybe. It but, really is fast. Um, yeah. You put her on that thing, you couldn't catch her with that, Vincent, save your life. No, it's much faster than the 500, Vincent. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't like, know. You know, what has happened is I built a car, and I made it, and I made a bike hauler out of it, a motorcycle hauler out of it, a 38 Ford. Uh -huh. and, wow. I, and, I, and I'm thinking that, like, I look at this bike, and I'm thinking I'd like to put this bike in the back of this car uh -huh. and put your name on it, whoever okay. raced it. Because that's basically what I was building the, the car for, is for a bike to be in the back of it. Crazy and, Kim. <laughs> no. There you go. Crazy Kim. It could be the name of it. And I, I don't know, would just like to like know a little bit about, like, I mean, also would like to talk price, obviously, because mm -hmm. that matters a lot, too. Well, you know? let's see. I'm trying to bring up what was this problem I've got. It has affected my memory. Yeah. I haven't got a problem. I still got a bad memory. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah. Anyway, um, what was that? What was that bike I traded for it? I don't remember. I got it out of a barn up in Cordova. Uh, uh, How many places oh. have you raced the bike at? Has it been well, to Shuby? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that's where it was raced the last. Yeah. yeah, that was it was quite a hit there when uh, Iannucci had the team there and uh, yeah, the, the vintage racing used to be more uh, popular. Yes. Um, I don't think uh, people can afford to race the old bikes anymore because they're, they're too valuable. Yeah, it's uh, getting there, is it not? Yeah, and uh, where else? DeLand. Um, did you have it over in, where was that track in West Virginia? Did you ever go there? Oh, yeah. I did take it there. Matter of fact. You uh, raced it in Virginia? West yeah. Virginia. West Virginia? West, West Virginia. Um, we took it. We took it. Alabama? Did we go there? Yeah. That's, 
And uh, do you have documentation Savannah? on that? That's right. It's he's up now, Alabama, I believe. Yeah, it's Savannah. Uh, on on um, um, God, you got to help me out on this thing because <laughs> I mean I've got this problem mm -hmm. with remembrance. Ice cream, ice cream man opened the museum in the track. Uh, it's Barbara, a bit Barbara. Yeah, we were there the first year when he we did that. Yes, right? Yeah, first gathering. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, Tom Kerr and I used to drag all this stuff around and go to the vintage <laughs> racing when it was affordable and could be actually done. Right. I mean, you know, it was. And. Um, it was it was like regular people would bring their three fifty Hondas and yeah. and and older stuff. There were classes for all this kind of stuff. It sounds like fun. Like we're yeah. actually we only went to one uh, flathead races. Jolene raced a flathead, and yeah. that was the same. Like it was it was really good because everybody was happy and there was yeah. no, there was yeah. no um, what can I say egos there because right. everybody was only doing you knew driving a flathead and, you know? and all that crap. Then. What's that? You knew Doc Batsleer and all that crap. I'm not sure, but everybody yeah. there was fantastic, you know, to get along with and help yeah. that sort of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a different thing than the more professional right. uh, yeah. things. I and mean, that's what I liked about it. Right. I liked about it. And uh, look, I just can't help this. You stop, uh, stop poking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm disappearing at you. Oh, no, no, she's. Good. Don't you disappear. <laughs> That you had got no friends. So you have like you have documentation of where you've raced it a bit and all that uh, sort of stuff. Mostly, what we have is, is you don't have to get up and get like. Well, no, I I took out the file because okay. uh, I didn't stop. remember. You can't you stop. Her. Think about it. Perfect. All this. Uh, you can't. You, you know, got a head like a rocket and gonna change, and uh, that's that. But Kim was a drag racer long before I knew her. Oh, was that right? Mm -hmm. You used, yeah. to, you used to drag race? Drag race Kawasaki's, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, like, yeah. That was two strokes and GPZ. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was fun. That was fun. That's so, damn near killed you. Well, of course. <laughs> but, That's what's going fast is all about, isn't it, right? Yeah. I and mean, uh, you really have to stop thinking about that for a second. When you're going fast like that, you're taking a bigger chance of something happening than going slow. Well, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, Lots of um, mechanical stuff. Stuart Towner, who was, or maybe is, still is president of the Rudge Club, um, raced it at Chuby too. We have somewhere we have a picture of that. Okay. And, and, and explain to me what Rudge is like. Like I really don't know. Oh, um, poor, is a what? Yeah. It's a poor valve. <coughs> there he is. Uh, uh, Single cylinder. Well, it did make a huge win. Yeah. I'm not an official aficionado on Rudd. Yeah. But I've had uh, this one. There. I've had others. Where uh, was it? Where was it built? Go. England. <laughs> England. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I must say this Ford, this '38 Ford I built, has a Jaguar roof on it. Okay. I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, in those times, I would we, think that a lot of that stuff traded hands. You know, they didn't have look what, look what we've the got money on it. to. This is the original English uh, uh, registration from 29. Oh, wow. And lots of, lots of correspondence here. I don't see too much. I mean, I see a lot of mechanical stuff. So the engine is a, a Rudge engine? Is that oh, what yeah. you Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's written on engine. And it's, uh, oh, yeah. we got the... Well, I just didn't know if there's different kinds of engines you can get, or I've heard of, like... No, um, it, 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 Rudge is its own, Rudge is its own thing. race bikes. Yeah. You know, not that I'm an aficionado. As I say, I, when you wanted to go racing, you, you bought a motorcycle and you made a race bike. A, right. A go faster out of it. That's what all my racing was yeah. with the... We called it the Flamet, but it was it was called a uh, Vincent Comet. Okay. Well, Vincent had a thing called a uh, Gray Flash. Right. But this was not a Gray Flash. This was a Meteor. As I understand it, it's sitting in somebody's front 
parlor now in Florida. But when I got it, it was uh, a bitzer. It was all original. I mean, it was all there. Uh, and it was an original... It was an original Vincent. Really, it was a meteor. They made two classes of 500s. One was a meteor and one was a, a comet. Is that considered a 500 single? Yes. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really easily over my head in this because there's so many official aficionados now. Everybody knows everything about Well, memory. Well, I'll tell you uh, what. No one knows more about your bike than you do. It's your bike. Well, yeah. to be honest with you, like when I walk through them, the one the rudge I picked because just, it was a small, uh, yeah. just it was just kind of cool looking. It was really broke down to being yeah. a race bike. I thought like being that small with nothing yeah. on it. It's yeah, yeah. It's, he, can you walk out there, or you want me to go? What out to the uh, the sure, bike I shed? Okay. I have to go. That reminds me, as long as you're talking about Carlton without mentioning his name, he's he's got his Jalera for sale, just in case you want to know. I don't want to know. I know. <laughs> it's like... You have threatened me not to bring any Italian. No also. Italian, no. No Italian. British stuff uh, is hard enough. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, there are people who have forgotten more about these things than I'll ever know, but... Uh, they have spent and were able to spend uh, their a lifetime, really, uh, uh, doing nothing else. Well, I mean, not, they're not a welder. They're not of this. They're not. A, they, they, they they started out with motorbikes. They had the financial ability to uh, uh, do it, and and. They're, they're just um, smitten with these things, like I was, but I didn't have money. Yeah. I mean, you know, I... I well, obviously, I'm smitten with them, because, you know, I just... <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't even ride them, but I appreciate and, and that sort of stuff. Yeah, and, but, but your, your thing is a whole other thing. I mean, the, the ability to... <clears throat> the ability to design is yet another ability. Yeah, I mean, I get it. The ability to uh, recreate is yes. yet another ability. Right. So, I mean, you know, I, I realize what what uh, is is passable and feasible. Mm. And uh, when I saw that uh, back end of that Bugatti sitting over in the corner with a lot of stuff piled. I said, Jesus Christ, look at that. And I said, you ain't seeing many of them. Yeah. Well, it's true. <clears throat> I forget who was with me. It's certainly true that if you have the sort of... Chad has a Bugatti? I built, I built one. Built one oh, you built one. For Jolene. Oh, one. yeah? It is. It is. How many tickets? <laughs> oh, no, no, it hasn't on the road yet. But, oh. <laughs> and they weren't built for speed. Well, they were built for speed. They raced the hell out of them. I know, I mean, yeah. Anyway, I saw this thing, and he has recreated one of the very, very few models that were built ever. We did um, We did Ralph Lawrence. Look, it looks like Ralph that. Ralph Lauren owns the yeah. other one. It looks something like that, you know. Yeah. Like, we won't go into that. Anyway... Uh, when I saw that, I thought, Jesus Christ, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> you know, I mean, I was over there with, I forget who, and that's what I met you. Uh, I forget who it was. Uh, and I um, sort of, I was looking for Ford bits. Right. And they said, if you want to find any old Ford bits, this guy may or may not have them. I'm right on. And that's how the whole mess started. Oh, yeah. But, um, there, there is 
there is no way to make a comparison between what he does with his ability to recreate and what I'm kind of enamored with, which is sort of <laughs> you have cats. Do you have cats? Hot rods and yeah. things. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I like I like most everything yeah. that has four wheels and a motor. Right. And uh, that uh, that is is <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I was just as enthralled. Some sometimes with a, yeah. with a with a Bugatti uh, uh, Type Thirty Air Thirty Five yeah. that I as I am with a, with a Ford. Uh, oh, right uh, uh, That's nice. It's uh, see it's, that. It's an unrated, huh? The Bugatti picture, I just noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, it, it is a original <laughs> Bugatti drawing yeah. that uh, a German fellow gave to me, used it as wrapping for some NSU parts. Well. That little NSU I got out there. Yeah. Well, he wrapped a lot of parts up in in that thing. Are you sitting? And sent them to me. And I ironed it and ironed it, steam ironed it, and <laughs> carried so on cool. until I brought it back to what you see there. Right on. And you can take a um, magnifying glass, yeah. you know, and go and look at all the lines and everything. But it took a lot of fiddling and messing. Looking at that thing, and I said, that can't be. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. where the hell did he get exact that? Same, exact same thing I said about the Arden heads. That can't be. I mean, you've seen a set of heads, but you know what I mean? It's the exact well, same thing. the Arden is, is an, a, another, what would you call phenomenon. Yeah. It's another phenomenon. Those guys built that thing for a purpose. Yeah. These guys started building those cars to a purpose, but they were exotic. The, the Arden was an exotic in the transport field. Right. It's a different field, of course, but they they uh, built those engines as, you know, as like, like uh, that Arden. Uh, they built that thing to be able to fill the need for the horsepower that was necessary <laughs> to uh, transport. I mean, they didn't have Peterbilt's, you know, and there wasn't yeah. anything like that, or, or, or you know, uh, any of those things like we have today. Uh, and the white steamers, I mean, not steamers, the white... Um, I know what you mean. Uh, hmm? uh, boiler cars. Yeah, well, they didn't have any... St um, you mean Stanley uh, Steamer? Yeah, Stanley Steamer. If that's what he's talking to, is it not? Stanley yeah. Steamer. Speaking of something right off the top of my head, you know that Keith Boat sold his steamer? No. He did. Is that right? That's a damn shame. It, is okay. it in Halifax? I think it went to a museum in oh. Halifax. I'm not Steel sure. Steel wheels. That. That's cool. But yeah. He drove it around. I mean, I... I, I uh, I never, I did hear it turn over. Arthur over here, my, Kim calls him my rust buddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Arthur built uh, the boiler. Oh, okay. The tubes in that boiler are about as big around as, the tube, as my little finger. Right. I think there are a hundred and some of them. I mean, it's a real piece of work. Okay. Now, there's another talent that you've really got to know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Because those things running 100 pounds of pressure, you know, steam is not a joke. You wouldn't get slapped upside the head with that. It, it, <laughs> steam is not a joke. It, it, I had a steam engine, a big uh, traction engine, that uh, carried uh, 100, oh, 150 pounds of steam pressure. It was like a locomotive. And... I became interested in steam as a kid, and this this thing was was a monster. I mean, it weighed what twenty six thousand pounds or something like that. <laughs> a picture of it right around right oh, the corner. Wow. 
Uh, what, what anyway, the uh, seal. Yep. Up there. I got invested in, interested in steam, and then when I came here, um, I met Keith Boats and wanted to see his steam car. Right. Well, you know you. How many steam cars have you ever seen? Uh, and uh, none that I know of. Well, we've seen a couple. See a couple. Right around the corner from you. This 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 Rudge isn't steam, is it? No. <laughs> Come on. Uh, they did build a steam motorcycle. So, yes. Uh, I forget his name now. Whoever built it, but anyway, this damn thing was a real piece of work. I mean, uh, uh, it's not not the motorcycle, the car. I mean the. Uh, truck, uh, yeah. uh, the car, yeah. yeah. So. I know what you're talking about. Good. Hold on. I'm not here. Hello? Can we show you the car that I built? Yeah, that, I want to see it. I want to put this bike with. Got to just kind of warm me up to it, maybe the idea. Oh. <laughs> so that, it has a Jaguar roof on it. A Jaguar roof. And what I've done is I've... The, oh my goodness. All this back, it used to be a two door sedan. I cut this back out of it. Right. This all comes off and the bike goes inside. <laughs> How cool is that? Inside the car. So it would have a little a little British in it because yeah. it's got a Jaguar roof on it. Right. And it's just, and it's running a flathead in it. And uh, then we kind of made it, you know, uh, kind of. Oh, that's cool. I love fenders like that. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, suiting maybe. Okay. I think. You, you have to see this. I, I'm not sure if the. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that. Look at it. He, well, he's going to put the bike in the back. And that's if we can make a, make a, a. It's the same era. What's that about a thirty? What I got? Uh, I got that. Thirty-eight. You know Lindsay. You know Lindsay Campbell. Oh, sure. <laughs> Do you remember that green two door he had? Yeah. Well, I took that two door and cut the roof off and walled on its bum and put a Jaguar roof on it. That's that character. You got well, something? Now I see the <laughs> likeness between the back windows. That's a Jaguar roof. That's a Jaguar roof with the back window configured right, right. to it's that curvature. Off a of 60, 59? Off a of 59. Mm -hmm. So the jazz. Yeah, so the back comes off, that trunk lid comes off, oh, yeah, and, so and then I've got a, car, just like a, it is. a yeah. rack that pulls out and I holds the, the motorcycle. Fenders. So you got something away from Lindsay? The hell with a motorcycle. <laughs> well, the hell with a motorcycle. I like the car just like it is. Yeah. What oh, happened was... The, I really should have known about that. <laughs> the, the car went down over the hill and, and hit a tree backwards. And it smucked up the trunk lid in the back. Oh, and then, and he, sort of then he was upset with it. Then he was with upset it. with it. Yeah. So yeah. we acquired it. And like I said, I cut the you roof off it. On that thing. Yeah. That's it. That's to no, say it's working. That's just saying. That's her. Oh. She she clipped this thing on me. Can oh, we go up and take a look at the bike? Yes. Have it out. Okay, if good. If you don't mind. You're going to sit? I'm going to sit. Yeah, not at all. Here. Yeah. If you don't mind. I have a trouble with balance. Yeah. This is no fun this year. No, no, no. I didn't uh, think it was. Trouble with balance. Go go help yourself. Okay. Well, and Kim will be able to answer probably more questions than I ever thought. Well, okay. maybe. We'll see. I didn't do the mechanics on it. So I, I won't know anything more than you know. <laughs> you anyway, won't know so what to ask. No. All right. Well, so there, we'll be we'll be in uh, good hands. The the file is full of uh, diagrams and stuff. So okay. And I, I saw that the title is uh, ninety seven. I think. Yes. But I don't know if that's the same year he got it or not. And he built a little shed to house them all. <laughs> yep. Which is, which is needed. Yep. I opened it up to get the heat out, so I'm able to see it. Yeah, that's. There it is. Right there. So the. The stand is uh, part of the, the bike. In other words, that's how you handle it. Get it up and down off the, uh, the stand. It rolls, rolls up. Uh, we have a set of rollers. That, that's how we started it. So uh, your, your feet are always back. 
on these this is your peg up back here the peg is where the stand is yes That's metal it. yeah 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 and you can see how tiny the shift and the brakes are this is why he had trouble with his feet okay it's getting stuck in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> Was, was you happy about that, or was you saying, I can race that damn thing? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, let me try, let me try was, that thing. Yeah. Who was better? Uh, well, I was faster because I'm lighter. Well, that means you're but, better. Yeah, yeah. I always thought I could ride better than he. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Have you raced a lot of these bikes in there? Uh, not, um, well, the, the Comet I rode Which is all the over Comet? Europe. Which is the Comet? That's one single cylinder here. Okay. This, uh, this one uh, I rode all over uh, Europe, and there, there's a, an open D at the end I rode around uh, Newfoundland. That's the one that, all the way on the end. And what are these on for, just to keep the tanks in good shape, or does yeah. it keep the condensation? Just keep... Uh, uh, yeah. The, yeah, well, it keeps the tanks from getting dinged up, Okay. too. Number uh, 442, yeah. or 422. Yeah, it is nice. There's something about it that's just, you know, it says I'm compact and yeah, it's like proportionate, you know. How do you start that? Does it have something on the side? No, uh, we have rollers. Uh, in other words, we back the uh, the truck up uh, onto, onto, the rollers go with it okay. and uh, start up the truck and then you'd bump it, bump start. Okay. Yeah. And, and roll then it you're off. on your way. Yeah. So meanwhile, this uh, this diesel truck is screaming away, and you're trying to get the the bike to go. Smoke and fire everywhere. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard a woman talk that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Smoke and fire, and everything's great. Yes. Everything's great. <laughs> so how fast would you would you go on something like this? Uh, you, you can't. There's sixty no miles an hour. Oh, and more than that. More than faster than that. More than that. Uh, they they would. Um, They'd have a gun like where the um, the scrutiny people watch you how many how many laps you okay. make and where you are and stuff and they have a gun and they can tell because that's a tachometer. Okay. And so you slow down for the, some of the curves, or uh, you're you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's uh, uh, it's hard to say, right. and I don't think we ever put it on a dyno. <clears throat> On a dyno, yeah. I've never put anything on a dyno in my life either. No. I do like the bike. It's so cool. Yeah, it's it so is cool. cool. It's a good looking bike. And it's probably one of the, <laughs> you know. For some of the the other bikes, we had uh, electric rollers, like the the um, the Vincents. To okay. get them started, we put them on electric rollers. But that one, we used the uh, the pickup, the green pickup down there. Was that your racing name, Crazy Kim? No. No. <laughs> That's what I was, was I allowed to say that? <laughs> I didn't know for sure. But, uh, yeah. yeah, great. It was great times. Yes. I do miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just got like when we were here and the, the bikes take me back, I guess, and the cars also, Chris with his, with his knowledge also, but just yeah. uh, I don't know what to say. I, I really kind of, yeah. I think maybe these might be out of my, realm for what they're valued at if you know what i'm saying yeah obviously yeah. Yeah. Uh, this but this one caught my eye when i first came in because of how small it was and yeah it'd just be cool um basically i want to maybe talk a little more about price i guess with you and chris uh, well it's seventeen thousand us or um today it's at 72 cents so it's like twenty three thousand five hundred canadian you don't, you're not dickering at all? Well, I might, especially if you, because my cat likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, all right, yeah. Um, I, yeah. I don't know. Do you deal in U.S.? or do you, No, well. you Canadian? We're, Does, we're, it doesn't we're, matter. We're Canadian, but the only thing, the only thing, with, like, Chris gave us a little different price, maybe, or he did give us a little different price. Um. Well, you can yeah. tell me what it is, because he doesn't remember from one day to the next. <laughs> he said 15. U.S. Well, he didn't say U.S. Okay. But see, I'm, you know. That would be U.S., yeah. yeah. Well, 
Okay, well, what we'll do, um, we'll figure out what that is. You're saying you would sell it for 15 US? Is that what you're saying? Maybe? Uh, yeah. Do you have to think about that? Yeah. Yeah? I'd sell it 15 US and you could convert it to Canadian. I won't take less than like 21. Well, that should work out. Something. You will not take less than 21. Uh, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I had a different thought in my brain. What's your, what's your thought? I just times 15 by like the 1.36. Like uh, 15 yeah. times, yeah, point, it's, yeah, one point seven two Canadian and uh, it's one U.S. Yeah, about well, it's 21. Yeah. 28,800. $20,800. How's that? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to talk that it was Jolene. Yeah, How's your that? boss. Yeah. Well, our, part, our partners. Your partner, partners. Your yeah. partner. Yeah. We want to talk that over. Do you want to see the rollers or? I don't need to see the rollers, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. The bike is what I'm looking at. Okay. And basically, you know, I'm buying it to. If I buy it, I, it would be to. To look after it, I guess that would be the only thing. It wouldn't race it, probably. I don't think it would, but um, yeah. yeah. In case you want to fire it up, they'll go with it. Okay, that'd be that'd be fantastic. Yeah, that would be fantastic. All right. It's a nice warm day, is it not? Mm. Um. So what what I'm going to do is, is we'll just go home and I'll discuss it with Jolene. Okay. And then we'll give you a phone call. Is that okay? That's great. I'll be <laughs> here. I I can't leave Chris. He's on a lot of yes. uh, a morphine. And then when I decide, like. Um, you know, whether I decide or not, I'll phone you and let you know. Okay. And that good. way there, I can have time to talk Jolene over with it. All right. And see what happens. I appreciate your time. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad to see you because Chris really enjoys talking to you and, and rolling the memory machine back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's being nostalgic, isn't it? I guess, yeah. Uh, in some ways, it's, it's uh, kind of difficult. Um, you know, moving on. Yes. Life moves on. Yeah. It does. It doesn't wait for nobody, does it? No. no. No? It's been nice talking to you, Kim. I've never really talked to you that much. I didn't realize you were that, room, that lady with the smoke and the oil and that sort of stuff, but that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I, I was into bikes before I met Chris. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, my first marriage, I got married to fix my bike. It was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like your honesty too. I got, I got married to fix my bike. Yeah. All right, this this is yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does okay. Chris have one too? No, he doesn't. No. Okay. Well, well, thank you for your time. Should I go back and say goodbye to him? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 My case is too. Okay. He wants to say farewell, goodbye. Oh, you oh you got the. Uh, oh, he's got some pictures. You're looking at the uh, file. Am I? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I, I just have to make up my mind whether I'm going to, or we're going to. This is uh, just before I was going to race it. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, that's just that's as nice. I more or less got it before I was going to race it. Okay. And I got it from John, whatever, Christman, I think his name was. Nice. And he was a clockmaker. They raced it at Shuby and did very well with it against the 500 Triumph of a uh, much more modern vintage. Yes. I forget how how uh, how the place, but the place very right. well. I didn't ride it, but John, but um, Stuart Towner, who is the president of the uh, Rudge Owners Club. Right. Okay. You gotta stand in ovation with it. I do know that. Well, look at that now. Uh, and it was a 30, what is it, 33, and the Triumph was like a. There I am on the first race. That's you. That's cool. That was your first race? On that, yes. Would some of this stuff come with the bike? Yes. If we so, if we, if we decide to go oh, for it, of course. Because that, that sure. would be awesome. It's no, uh, 
That would be awesome. It's no, it, yeah, this is, no. My number, my racing number is 422, and it's on everything, mm -hmm. like the racing sidecar, it's on all of it. So this is the uh, president of the Rudge Club racing at Shuby. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. See, that kind of turns me on, too, that the bike's been raced. Yeah. You know, yeah. it does. You're the right size for it, I tell you that. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I'm the right size or not. Sure but, you are. But uh, it does. What we'll do is we'll, we're going to go home and talk about it, and then we'll probably phone you. Do what? We're going to go home and talk about it. Oh, sure. We talked to Kim about uh, the price and everything, and uh, I just wanted me and Jolene to talk it over before I say yes or nay. Well, thanks for both of you for your time. You, you wanna... Hello? Can you see me? Hi, Janet. Hold up against the window, you, get, you probably would. Did you get the message about the medication? Okay. I'm gonna hold it up. I don't know. Yes. Give me a date on here. Okay. January. Uh, the only thing that I'm out of is the ranitidine, which I called into Larry, so they, um, they'll pro Larry's they'll probably... Larry's pharmacy should out. love us. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay, let's we'll say goodbye. Can I hold it, can I hold it up to the yeah, light? Yeah, you can, sure you can, you can take it with you. Yeah. Oh, I want it back, of course. Helpful, because, um, the other yeah. thing yeah. I, could, I would have to put Chris in the car, but sure I don't want to do. Yeah. I, Boy. I don't, but it's. Uh, Is there any dates it's, on it's it? for the stomach. I have a, a bunch of. Uh, what dates would these be, Chris? These pictures, you know. You should have a date on them. Uh, and I, I, I look around the edges okay, there. Okay. You might have a date on them. Yeah. I'm not sure. January '96. Maybe? Okay. And you've owned that bike how long, Chris? You say 20 years? What do you say? 25 yeah. years? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. It's. Uh, Okay, it's been you. sort yes. of a pet. Yeah. We always, the Vincent was. The uh, no, he's, he's not talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's talking it. to himself. Who the hell are you? We, no, uh, we have some friends here. He's talking to you. Oh. All right, so you're going to be here tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Dr. Swift, a new Swift. She says she looks like she's 12 years old, but she knows her stuff. And I think they're going to switch your medication around again. So, get ready. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> you get ready. <laughs> thank, thank you very much for your time. Thank oh, you very sure. much for your time. And we'll yeah. give you a phone call. Okay. Good. And we'll just yeah, talk it over. Back again. I mean, we'll, if we have, we got to come back to get it if we if we decide. Here. No, I don't know. I'm not pushing. You know, I'm not a pushy person. And I, well, I, I wanted I'm to, I wanted quite, to come and look at it. You well, know, I mean? I'm not as quiet as as. Uh, knowledgeable as people say that I am. It's only that I'm old. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's where the knowledge comes from. Well, you got one of my compatriots sitting in your garage. Who's that now? Rocket 88. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 88 yeah. and the Rocket's 88. Well, there you go. Yeah, and that was the best goddamn car ever on that thing would fly. <laughs> oh, right. I got, yeah, I got one, I actually. everybody in the neighborhood with that thing, boy. I, do you have a picture of the Bugatti? You can show Kim? Yeah. You can show Kim what the Bugatti. Yeah. Uh, Jolene has a picture of the Bugatti just to show okay. your wife. Out there I showed you that. I wrote. That's, in, that's in Barcelona. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's the GPC. I okay. raced as well as I drove around on. Is that you there? Yeah. Oh, really? I have a GPC. GPZ, yeah. 1100? Um... No, 750. 750. 1100, she says. <laughs> you had the big one. Uh, first year it was out, yeah. Fuel injected. Um, we have a 1200. 1200 Kate, what's it called? Uh, what's that green one called, like that? The Arden, and yeah. uh, that's Holland at the Nuremberg ring. That's uh, Sarah Stolza 
And her father's around here on a... Is it this that car? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, different years. Similar Stoltz is here with, in his car, but... It's a sure. nice picture. I like that. Yes. It's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, it's a little weird. But this is the girl's father with her. His car. He used to race cars. Whatever that thing is. Yeah. Racing is just expensive all over. No just, kidding. just to take, just to take the weekend to go away. Yeah. Yeah, to go to get a room, gas. food, gas. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, and then something breaks. Yeah. So, cool something picture. always breaks. It's nice, eh? Really good. We like your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You added to it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the wall over there. <laughs>